Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. Today, we're going to play with sunflowers, and quite a few other things. Though I've got to say, the game has crashed several times now trying to record this, so I don't know how many more episodes I'm going to get into this town. I know that Patch 5 is going to cover an awful lot of little bugs, and bugs probably like these guys right here. What I want to do is delete those fields, and I'm, I'm thinking that's why things are going bad. And of course, our living statues over here, and and you know, the house that uh, nobody has, that they're perpetually moving out of, and the one they're perpetually uh, getting an income and not having to buy anything. So there's there's little issues that need to be worked on, and I'm sure that uh, Yveni is aware of all of them and and working on them right now. Um, patch 5 is going to be a little while before it comes out. There's a lot to, to squeeze into it, and like I mentioned last time, adding chickens is no little thing. And uh, he was mentioning that in a tweet today. It's it's no little thing. He's, he's got a lot to do. But anyway, um, let's see. I've got a note from Powell, I think it was, that uh, reminded me that when these folks that used to be going broke on us all the time even though he was the manager of the uh, trader, left. It left us without a manager for the trader. I hadn't thought about that. So, that one... That's right, I can't get a woman in there if I wanted to. That's right, okay. So, Pablo is now our manager. Where does he live? He is there, and his home is over here. He's one of the, our new uh, recruits to the town. Yeah, we got this house we're building. We've got a house over here we're building. It seems like I just saw a cart roll in with new people. Did they already leave? They must have already left. Yep, just sitting here talking away. Um, uh, let's see here. also got a note from Dimitri, who uh, kind of jokingly mentioned that I'm trying to, to take the natural paths that would have formed in a village like this and make them straight. Yeah, I'm kind of playing this more like a, I don't know, like a, an old west town, American old west. You know, the buildings kind of, yeah, I guess in the snow they kind of remind me of, of that. And there everything would be kind of laid out in blocks and straight. So, yeah, it's kind of trying to make it look at something that's familiar to me, though it's already, you know, in, in its uniqueness, probably familiar to the, the region that it's from. Um... What else here? I want to get this redone before I take these out. And I paused these guys to move them to wherever the new fields are going to be. So let's to, to move this guy. I've got, to, I've got to get these out of here. And they use it a lot. So this it needs to stay in this area. But it didn't. things just didn't quite line up the way that I had wanted them to over here. So that gate was supposed to be clear over here. Give me a nice straight run here for my, my straight American roads. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's, we're at the end of January. House finished? One of, where am I? One of these, okay. And another one finished, okay. Well, we're gonna have lots of carts rolling in. Um, where to? End of January? So basically just February left for hay. So I think I'm safe to pull this out of here, demolish. Now before I started, I went ahead and did a few, a little bit of demolishing, like right there, everything just froze. In order to see how the game is gonna handle all this, I was worried about the cows. So it's possible we're gonna have a kind of a short episode. No, we're gonna leave that one. A short episode this time if, if a game crashes, demolish. Because it doesn't wanna deal with the cattle that are not in there. Why can't I get a hold of you? There you... No. Hello. Well, I need to get rid of you anyway. Fence post? There you are. I gotta hit the fence post. Okay. You need to go away. And I'm thinking another one of these right in here. So... Now I got little arches there and big arches here. These are part of the, the model of the trader, so I couldn't change those if I wanted to. Otherwise, I took all the town arches down to small to, get, to narrow my roads up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> let's put another one of these guys in. Which way you turned? Spin you around like so. Hmm, crooked this way or crooked that way? 
let's freak out the game by spinning around too quickly. Something like that, but I can't tell where my corner is down there. I think that's about it. Let's come out just a touch. Right there. So... Well, we're in further than I thought we would be. I wanted to be right where that shadow was, but that's okay. This way, we're looking pretty good. Okay, we'll do that. And then, depending on where this lands, maybe two of these guys right in here. They don't really need to be over here. There's, that's just where there was room. The hay really needs to be over here. Like, right there. Okay, let's think about that. When we get these fields laid out, maybe this back wall here would be where the hay storage will be. That makes a lot more sense. That's a long walk. So, these could go away, but they need hay right now, so we don't take them away now. What are you guys all up to? Lots of carrying to new houses, I'm guessing. Or to the markets over here. Probably the markets. Let's see. Move you guys. Let's do that. And I want it done before March 1st. So, I'm going to tell these laborers that you guys get a huge huge bonus if you get it done in the next week you think they can move a cart within a week but you never know <laughs> all the crops are brought in everything's in but three cows this cow moves around so whatever he wherever he belongs to at least he's not broken to this extent that he's locked into one spot these guys have a mood for 10 years but, uh, well, not 10 years. We've, we've been here for 12, so they've moved for 3 or 4 years. But this one at least is able to, to you know, he, he didn't get glued to the ground. That's that's good. Um, let's, hmm. Was there a button to force a save? I don't remember if there was. Let me do it this way. Hit save there. Let's remove these 6 fields and see if everything still works after that. So, delete you, or demolish. And the delete button, oh, autosave just hit, okay. The delete, delete button doesn't work. I keep wanting to reach down to my keyboard and do that. But these four fields should be no pro... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, come on, okay. <laughs> it froze on me. Demolish, okay. Over here, we don't need any of these folks in here. So let's turn all of you off. Uh, except for one. We'll have one person watch the cows for us. All right, here's where it gets a little crazy. In fact, let's do that, uh, that save thing one more time there. Okay, you, can you go away? So far, so good. We'll see if that cow wanders off into the woods or something. And this is the spooky one, demolish. Ooh, okay. Well, going well there. This bench goes away. All right, fields. This needs to go away. And we're getting there. Because the next field, well, it might go in there, it might not. Hmm. Where does it land? Family's out of money. Which one are you? <clears throat> that same place I took out the trade manager. So there's something wrong with this location. It's got to be it. That location there is a problem, and right in here has always been a problem. 0.07 and negative 0.61. Right next door, man, we're still pretty low over there, too. This whole area is 76, though. But that's the... No, that's not the Ivan Inkos. That's the... Hmm... Nikki Forenko's family. <laughs> and we've got the... Yeah. So the rest of these are doing okay. Over here, we're fine. Over here, eh. But they're pretty new. And part-time laboring. Okay. Anyway... I wanted to see where this field needs to hit. Let's drop down as low as we can. Something like that. Now rotate around a little bit more. WN or DN, okay. And hmm. Zoom out a little so I can touch that and not have it go so far there. Now, no matter what I do, I don't have the right angle. Anyway, you come up here. Let's see, if I rotate like that. Oh, that's better. That post to that post, we hit right about there. And right there, goes uphill, is this guy right here. So that's where I want to line up the fences for the uh, for the new pasture, that second post. So if we were to grab a farm, or a field, go there, 
and hit toward. It's about like this because it's the smaller archway. So about there. So if I were to then, let's see, let's, let's set that, but then right click it right. Where are you at? I guess you're not. You're right there. Right click. No, it moved. Anyway, right click and left click. There we go. Something like that. So is this going to be wide enough? That's kind of going off at an angle. Let's put them right there. Right click, left click. No, a little too much still. Something like that looks pretty good. So there's a 15 if we leave that old uh, cart house there. Hmm. It looks pretty good, though. It does. I think we will. We'll do that. You still have one in there. Have we been a week? I think we've been a week. Yeah, I'm about to take their bonus away. Um, yeah, actually I am. The thought was that I was going to have to put this, uh, this pasture where this was, but actually it's it, this looks pretty good right here. Let's go ahead and put one more in. This will be a fatter one, so it won't be as deep. Right there, we've got till the end of February to get this done. Messenger from. So it does help to uh, have a trade manager in there. Now these pathways have been looking good at about one and a half fence posts. So we're coming in at, we'll say, the halfway point. So if we tap right in there. Now, grabbing that point. Where's the shadow? Shadow's on that side, so it's actually right about there. There. We get the shadow of the green line right here to line up with the shadow of that fence post. That's the way I can tell. Now I want to go roughly one and a half past. So that looks about like so right there. Now, now the angle though, if we were to do this, like that, that gives us parallel to this one. And then R takes you back into there. Okay, so one and a half past. Looks pretty good right about there. Although I went too far away, didn't I? Okay, let's take you to about... Yeah, I really I do have to go this way first. I'll just have to guess at the parallel. Does that look perpendicular? One and a half is something like that. What's that look like over there? Seems to be working. We're, we're, doing a fi we're doing fine there. So 15 over here is something like that. Most of our sunflower fields were 20s. That's why we're having so many problems before. Um, another one there. Let's come off at about this fence post here. Over one, two, three, four, five. Something like that. What's that looking like in there? We're off just a touch. About that far, I'm going to guess. Right click, left click. Okay, that works. Now we want to come out over here. There's 15. That's looking fairly even to the other, the front of the other one. But let's R twice to get the entrance over here. Okay. I thought the game froze. In fact, we're, well, we just auto-saved. Good. So if I crash, I'll come back to this, mo this point here. All right. So there's the first three. And I want about that width, well, that width right there in here. So let's grab another farm, another field. So something like that? I think so. Nope, not quite. Let's zoom in a little bit. More like right there. Yeah, I think so. Over here. Five. Right like that. And then I've got from there to there to still have five. So where does that land? I'm liking that. Okay. Zoom out. What am I hitting? Oh, we're overlapping by quite a bit over there. So I'm not going to get this as narrow as I wanted it to. Okay. Darn. Now let's come off. Hmm. Then let's do this. Right click, left click. Give us a parallel. 
something like that. Come out to... It looks like it's slightly inside, doesn't it? Well, that should be about the right distance. So right, left. Okay. And off over here. There? Now a little further out. The shadow's quite deceiving. And then click and draw you this way. So close. Look at that. Arr. Okay. We need to get these cones of doom a little bit uh, underpowered. Let's see. Another right click and a left click. Too, they go out too far. Something like that. And if I went this way, I could see how parallel we are. And that's actually fairly close. It needs to go... Well... This needs to go back one more time. Okay, so you're going to go to about there. There, that one, that one. Okay, try this again. You're in about like that. This way, we're off, so... Right there. And we're not overlapping here now. And this, just slightly more. So about like that. Right, left. That's fairly good there, and we're not overlapping here. Okay, what's 15 look like? Oh, man! <laughs> that was a lot of work! <laughs> okay, well, you're going away, and so are you. Demolish. Okay. <sighs> we saved again, right? Good. Where are we? Halfway through February. Are you gone yet? You're still not gone. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Now, where was I? There, maybe? There. We're happy this way. We're happy that way. Looks pretty good. Oh, we're not happy this way. Hmm. Okay, so we're real close, though. We're actually half that distance. If I were to go right about... Well, about there. Leave me a little bit of, of room. Right click, right left. All right. I'm going to say there-ish. This way, we're pretty close. And this way, we're safe. Okay, I'm going to go with that. 15 over here. Actually comes in pretty good to the end of that building. Like it was meant to be. I like it. Alright, there. Although that's actually number 6, and I put it in slot number 4. We'll rearrange these guys afterward. Another farm, another field. I will always call those farms, won't I? And you want to be in maybe just one post. That's one and a half is about here. So it could be in about like so. But it's kind of nice to have the posts, you know, grab a corner. We could try grabbing this corner here and just make a skinnier run. Would that look too weird? This was bigger than I wanted it to be. So it would actually accomplish the goal that I had. Hmm, kind of like that. If you went there, it came down. We hit 23. Well, actually, we'll hit 15 if we do something like that. What do we think of that? We could squeeze a house in there. Okay, we'll do that. And then one more. There. That snapped. So something like that. That looks pretty close to that one. Now what happens here? That looks fairly even with the one across there. We don't invade the road. It leaves a good width for the road. I like that. Alright, right there. And then I want to redo these four. We're going to kind of force this road. Ooh, that actually lines up, doesn't it? Pretty close. Hadn't planned on that, but that worked out real nice. We get a nice straight road to come down through here and then branch off to these houses. Okay, let's do that. This was really tight over here, so let's see. Continue demolish. Now, what else should we be looking at around town? Um, family's out of money. I've been just consumed with that farm. I still got to do something by March 1st. That's why I'm running at one speed. Um, that house there, 
and this house here. Both of these are in trouble now because there's nobody working. We got all the farms turned off. That's probably it. The budget ought to be doing pretty good right now. We are in February, no trading, and we're down 25. So roughly 15 a month, so we're down 180 by the end of the year. Hmm. How do we deal with that? I was going to... Man, we're still, we're still relying on trading. That's really what it comes down to. Because we can't afford to turn all these jobs back on. What have we got over here? Eight. Six. Uh, there's a cow missing. Where'd he wander off to? <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch that. <laughs> He's gone. He's, I, thought, I figured he'd just be standing out here like these guys. But he's gone. Interesting. Um, this one over here has worried me. We left it in this condition last time. Four cows, two bulls, one of them 11 months old. We had hit slaughter on a couple of them, and they wouldn't slaughter, whereas as soon as they hit the other ones, they slaughtered immediately. Um, this guy, there's still somebody in here, even though there's nothing for him to do. But we could... Cow, there's only four uh, adult cows and one adult bull in there. Is there anyone with some excess? One, two, three, four cows and a bull. And this one, one, two, three, four cows and a bull. Everything else is, is less than a year old. Here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, when running a game slow, we don't really get the, the, the growth that you would think. You know, for you, it's been a couple of days since you've seen one of these episodes. For me, or for, for them, it's been a couple of months, if that. So, yeah, it's going to be a while before we get more adults. I was going to test it by just cl clicking slaughter, slaughter on one of them and see if it instantly went away like, like we saw last time, just to verify that. I think this cow shed is broken. I think all that 40 cattle that came driving into here, taking that up to 43... Nothing has really worked since then. What I'm curious about is if we ever have a baby in here again. That's kind of my ultimate test for this one. If all of these get lots of babies and this one stays at six year after year, then I'll know that something's wrong there. So the four is always four. We've got smaller numbers in all of these, so it's like they're not eating either. So I may have to just mothball this one. Take out the, the workers, take out all of this, and just let it sit there and look good. But not use it. I think that's the, the plan for that one. Um, fishing boat. we got one more fishing boat to make, but we can't do that till March. Uh, speaking of March, let's see. Warehouse at windmills. Warehouse at windmills. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Notice that last time. Well, let's get back to that in a moment. I'm just looking down at my notes. Um, we do want to get this set before something happens. So we still have a manager here. Let's let's see. Four was actually six. So six and four and five. Hey, does that work? You really still five? You're really still five. And you are really still four? Yep. Yeah, okay. Those are good now. Let's set. Let's add an extra for each one. And this time we're going to do this right. Never came out right last time. First field, since they're all even now, first field is going to be sunflower. Second field is going to be fallow. Third field, sunflower. Fourth, fallow. No, that's wrong. Sunflower, fallow. Sunflower. No, that's right. Fallow, sunflower, fallow. Yep, that's correct. So alternating here does work out there properly. So you are sunflower. And you are fallow. So we should get three fields of sunflower each time. There we go. And I don't think it's enough sunflower to keep us going. So I've thought about maybe one more over here but let's get these houses laid out before that happens so house actually this way let's put the road between them something like that 
and I assume a straight road is going to go off into... Oh, I clicked while I was moving. Into whatever happens out over here. I don't remember. Do we see a red line even in the snow? We do. So we have a lot of room over here. Well, if the map stabilizes and allows me to keep going, then yeah, I'll go as far as I can. Just so when I get to where it crashed four times before I started recording this one. So when I get to where I, I spend my whole evening re-recording the same thing, then... And, uh, you know, if I, if I need to move on to something else, um, that's something else right now, actually, is RimWorld. I've been the last two days creating a new intro for it. I don't know if you guys had a chance to see it yet. In fact, I, after I got done with the intro, I... That was strange. My other screen just flickered when I hit the, the R to try to rotate this. Too many coincidences. Um, when I... Uh, what was I saying? Got done with, with RimWorld. I created a video that took the old RimWorld intro. That is not working for me. I cannot get it straight. Um, and Why is my other screen flickering? That is getting annoying. I keep looking over there. Hmm. Temperatures are fine. I don't know what it is. This is bugging me. I cannot make you turn. <laughs> Hmm. I don't want a crooked one, but I guess I'm going to have no choice. You can't go there. And it, oh, oh, that's not bad. I'll take it. All right. Distance. Alt. Let's... So I can go as close as that. I will right, we'll go about right there. Okay. Now see if I can finish a sentence. I took the new RimWorld intro and added it to the old original intro to my, my first, well, actually my second series in RimWorld, Alpha 13, and compared the two. It's kind of an interesting uh, way to do it. It came out really well, but I had a lot of fun with that intro, creating it. You're going to go there, shift, and I'm only going to get one over here, so how do you want to lay this out? It doesn't have to be in a grid. It can be something unusual like that. Kind of like that, actually. Except we're going to touch there. Rotate myself here. But Rimworld is where I'm going to be putting a lot of my energy, a lot of my extra time for a while. So I've been trying to put these episodes out every day. And I think I'm getting to the point to where I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. So, we'll see. Um, also getting to the point where it might be fun to start a new town soon. Uh, I want it right there. I want that road to be the same width as this road. I'm not getting it. Time I move it down, it get too, too tight over here. Uh, Alt doesn't do me any good here. Not really. I can pull back a little and down. Okay. Um, it is a rectangle, right? If I were to send you off in this direction. Ooh, that's better. It, that works a lot better. Then I can keep the width of all three roads similar to the way they're supposed to be. Yeah. Right there. Okay. You're there. And... One more out here. Like so. Let's see, we're near the end of February. We had a trader come in. That's right, we got an announcement a while back. Too much going on. Right there. Now, RimWorld, I like to play nice and slow. Kind of like this, I guess. But I don't, I don't uh, set impossible extreme goals and conditions and make it as hard and tough as possible and and go that route and I don't I don't uh, play it very fast I take my time we get to know all the characters we name the characters after either patrons or after uh, subscribers you know people in the comment section that ask to have their name put in there and right especially this new version of RimWorld it gives you a blow-by-blow -blow of everything that happens in a battle you know so and so you know, aimed at and shot at someone and, and deflected off of there and it gives a running commentary of all the all the events that happen and 
and they all have different uh, social experiences with uh, other characters and they're wooing each other and trying to get each other's attention and somebody will rebuff somebody else and they'll get into a bad mood and oh, we can put take you away good so it's it's a lot of fun just to to take it nice and slow and look at each character and see how they're interacting with each other it kind of builds its own story when you when you play it that way and that's the way I'm going to do it so take our time and, and just enjoy that game kind of like I'm doing here like I, like I said you know just taking my time and and uh, watching the game grow and build and and forming a nice community here all right I've got a couple days left February let's peek this one over here and now my second monitor just went black completely I think I've got something wrong with my graphics card I think uh, we're doing some overheating things or something's going on down there so I'm not sure what's up with there um, I want this one that's who I want I'm sure you just about pause you're just about done yep I don't know if I really have any sunflowers that I want to uh, well that I want to get rid of there's 10 over there um, actually I do that's right we did no because it's all going here right there okay yeah we can get rid of this well what's left uh, what's left in town 29 there's quite a bit yeah let's do that let's do that so I want what here and sunflower and we can handle 10 and deal I caught that just in time nothing else is going on be like nice to get some more cattle coming in though I wonder if they're going to keep bringing it to the same one that's not why that one yeah think about that this is the last one we built or was it these two we tore that one down after building these three I had to build this one forward a little bit to get around our living statue so definitely these three are older they come from over there so it's not the closest one why this one did these I think these got built afterward so it didn't go to the newest one it didn't go to the closest one it didn't go to the oldest one I don't know why would it choose that one closest to the trader I don't know how you can determine which is closest to the trader it is a pixel or two closer right there in that corner <laughs> maybe that's it it goes to the closest not necessarily closest as the crow flies but closest to the body of you know the building itself that pathway might be just a tiny bit smaller than this pathway I don't know I wonder why that was anyway we are close to that am I paused I was why am I paused I don't know so that's all done notes warehouse and windmill okay I last time okay you're the one you're over there we do have a warehouse of the windmill I was talking about the idea of maybe moving wheat to be closer to here so I have to walk over into here to get it then I kind of flicked through one of these and I didn't see wheat down here it's up there in the top so we can bring wheat over though these guys are well we've got 69 firewood over that's the most I've seen in a building at all so they have been able to keep up with this that's impressive okay then let's go ahead and add wheat to this one all right we'll add wheat we'll put in oh hold down the shift and put in 50 or so don't know what's actually sitting over here 30 okay all right yeah you guys can do that that'd be fine in fact let's go ahead and add two more in for that one firewood's important to get out to this area over here how we doing we're pretty much maxed out over here so these guys have done a good job that's probably a good number in there over here let's see I'm waiting for hemp so all the hemp we just grew you're in there and next time you're gonna be over here was there anything I needed to fix over here I don't think so let's see what our current let's see that'll be this year coming up so you don't have enough for either so yeah you're fallow you need a little bit of red and green 50 60 I think it was or 60 50 so you're fine there you're fallow because you don't have well you do actually 
but we weren't a full cycle in here so some of these wheats were put in the wrong place yeah so over here you do have enough for that one and here you do have enough for wheat I feel like I skipped one somewhere hemp you do have enough for hemp you need oh I think it was 80 something of blue and like 10 of red okay everything here is good over here are we fine because once we hit March 1st you can't really change this stuff well you can officially until they actually start sewing so in fact yeah before I turn this on let's get everybody hired up again so you guys hemp needs a lot of blue and we don't have enough okay so you've got it and you're in your second year so hemp needs officially 69 we have 58 and we're gonna add 15 with the plow so 68 and 73 70 73 is where it's going to land so we have enough so that's that plan does work over here we've got plenty okay we just came out of a fallow all right so that all looks good potatoes let's verify that they're doing okay been a while so we're at the end of a potentially three-year run i don't know if all of these are in fact we're out of sync again for some reason he doesn't line up with these i wonder why it does that is that me moving things around or i don't know anyway you need well you you got a full field here okay so you're yeah you're really out of sync hmm you've got a full field can i put you into sync by doing this so potato potato fallow let's do that we got two cycles left here you've got plenty potato didn't take very much right there it took uh 40 30. okay so in here We've still got 50, 70. We've got plenty. I wonder what the plowing is if I can get a fourth year in there, but let's not mess with that right now. You should be sitting on a freshly field that's just been fallowed. Yeah. Over here, you have... There you are. Yeah, plenty. And you're fallowed out. Actually, we could have got one more. I'll have to think about that again. But right now, everything's fine. Let's fill these back up and get these done. Where's the one that had the most trouble? It was this one. Let's get you filled back up and then turn the game on and let people start to fill in these blanks. Do I take it to two now? I think so. I've got everything on my list taken care of. Yeah, I think so. Anybody going to come into here? What do we have for wages? We still have crazy high wages. Let's turn you guys down, but I will give you a 10% bonus to keep you guys here. All right, you're doing that. And I'm going to take it back to one until I've got everything... Uh, Okay, you're good there. Let's get you guys filled up. Wages, 100, 100. Wages here, 120, 100. Take you down to 110 as well. Actually, we shouldn't have any problems here at all anymore. All right, we'll take you down to 100. And they're going away. <laughs> and over here. All right, so I restarted it from the autosave. Is it, uh, it crashed hard on me, and this is actually my fourth try to get this going again, and something is now bugged inside.